Matthew Grasso, and I call this the Tantra Kara guitar. The Tantra Kara guitar enables me to play the rags of North India. I worked with Sacramento, California luthier Wayland Carpenter to come up with a design, and he built this instrument. The Tantra Kara guitar has 15 strings total, has five playing strings, which are tuned C, G, C, G, C, or Sa, Pa, Sa, Pa, Sa. It has two Chikari, or drone strings, tuned to um, high C or high Sa. It has eight sympathetic strings, which are steel. Oops. And they attach to a Jawari bridge, which uh, creates a buzzing sound that you normally hear uh, in sitar or tanpura. Also, too, the fingerboard, if you notice, has split frets and frets that are not of equal distance. And it's tuned to a, um, what's called just intonation or gandhar tuning or pure tuning. And um, one reason why I chose to, tune, uh, to keep the fingerboard like this was to maintain the pure intonation of Indian classical music. I also wanted to be able to modulate so I could play with other instruments and vocalists, for example. This instrument, the saw is C. If I want to go to, say, B flat, go lower, I can add thicker strings so I can accompany, say, a female vocalist. If I want to play at D, I can put slightly thinner strings and I can move up to D, or I can even go up as high as E. So chromatically between low B flat all the way up to E, I can change the tension of the strings and play with different musicians, which is something that Indian musicians always complain about. The instrument also has a four octave range. Tantra Kara guitar. <laughs>